Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today in this video, together we will model this part. It's a locking pin with folding latch. We will model everything and then assemble them. It consists of three parts. One a member of SOLIDWORKS library, the other will be modeled by us. Let me close this SE and then open a new part. In this new part, I click on foam plane and I click on sketch. Then I pick a line. I start from origin and I draw something like this. To be able to give diametral dimensions, I put one more line here and I convert this to a construction job. And this is our profile. Now we can go to next steps. I select my construction geometry and I go to the other side with my mouse and then I get diametral dimensions. Line, if you do like this, it is radius. If you go beyond this uh, construction geometry, you will get your uh, diametral dimensions. Here I have four, 16 diameter. Here I have 40 millimeter length. This looks good. Our construction geometry was behind. Pull, pull it a little bit and then I will go make revolve both space. Operation is OK. Chamfer, I will ask a chamfer of 0 0.75. I select two surface, one surface, and then both edges are automatically chamfered. If you want to do that individually, you should select two edge. This is good. And then here I have a chamfer as well, but this is smaller, 0 0.5. Yes, after this operation, I click here, I look normal too. On the surface, I create a sketch. Here I pick a rectangle, second center type will be selected. I select this, I click, I press my control, select two object and make tangent and here I will assign 2.2 millimeter width. Operation is okay. I can close the sketch and then I can cut six. This is okay. After this you will create here on the surface a sketch. It better will be on front plane even. Then I look normal align. If you press your right uh, mouse button and pull it aside, move it aside, you're gonna get this menu. You can also pick a radius and a circle. This kind of options you see here, there are several options. You can activate them. And diameter here will be 2 and this dimension is 3. Operation is OK. Extrude cut through all both and then we have this nice cut. Last operation, the knob and our knurling. I select the surface, I create here a sketch as I always do to help me a construction geometry and then I get a line. I cre create the profile which is 90 degree is assigned by program. Now I select three objects. I make them symmetric. I make this one here coincident. What you're going to do, press control, select point and line and give your dimensions. This will be 0 0.25. It looks OK. Extrude cut. Up to next. We will only cut here. And then I will select this cut extrude. I will select circular pattern. It just automatically features and faces. This feature we will copy. And here it will ask us a edge to rotate this operation. After that, you have this nice part. We are done with this one. We can save it. Folding latch 0101. Let's give a name like this. Now we're gonna meddle. 
uh, model another part, part open, front plane, a slot, this guy. I drew something like this. This is 5.75. I want to give dimension from outer tower to, then you're going to do this. Shift, select two, circle, and give here your dimension, 15.9. Uh, if you don't want to do this, there is another way, guys. You put here one extra construction geometry, align simply, and then convert it, and then select this line. This is also an option. There is a lot of options. So then I will select a straight slot, the first option, this center to the center, and this will be radius 1.0. 0, 0.5 it looks good extrude boss base mid plane 2 this is it and I will save it let's make 0, 0.2 0, 0.2 and we can go to the next step now I open an assembly and I have two parts. I will select them. Insert components. I will select this one as well. Now let's assign. Const Here, the first thing I would like to do, firstly, for my main part, I will constrain. It is now fixed. I will make it by right clicking, load. So I can select origin and origin of SE. And I can assign coincidence. And this is fixed, but there is one part which is floating. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this one? Simply, we will select some objects from this part. For example, this font plane, and I will make it coincident to font plane of my SE. I select two plane, object is there. So. I have here on this part this axis top plane and I can also here assign a top plane relationship and I can bring it to here but this have one downside guys for example in this one you will not be able to rotate your part I made this intentionally and now we're gonna open this part and we will assign some uh, axes for example I now show my sketch I have a point here and if I click from plane, I go I select axis. I can create here an axis. This is a better way of doing this thing. And we saved it. Now we have here our mates. These are we assigned. And I delete the last uh, mate that I gave. And I select my axis. I go to mate and I select this uh, concentric option. If you do this, you have now this option but now you don't have a uh, play on this one you can do it a different way but I will not spend time on that one to keep video short I will hide my sketch I will introduce my spring pin then under pins spring spring pin slotted I will select this one and size will be metric 2, length 6, I say fine and it will come along here. If I bring it here, program will understand that I'm trying to make a mate there and in fact mate went to somewhere different seams, didn't work in this time, no mate didn't happen, okay, I select part. Out of surface, I mean, I make a mate here, and then what can I do? I, do, I can select like this, move a bit, and give here a tangency. This will also work. If you don't want to do, you can use again planes of this. You can 
but yeah, this plane part was not symmetrically drawn, so you should define an offset. Yeah, in fact, this was it, and uh, I, I think it is very simple, uh, but for beginners, it's a nice video. Huh? You see a whole uh, philosophy of the program, how you assign parts, and how you bring uh, library items and assemble them, draw them. I hope it will be useful for you. If you like video, hit the like button and see you in another video. Bye bye.